वो सब तो ठीक है मगर एवरेज कितना देती है I don't know about you guys, but I grew up listening to this line when adults were discussing about motor vehicles back then, and that was a key factor when it came to sales of vehicles in India. वो एक ज़माना था और ये एक ज़माना है जहाँ पे हम पहले गाड़ी के फीचर्स के बारे में सोचते हैं, गाड़ी के लुक्स के बारे में सोचते हैं, कितनी तेज़ भागेगी वो सोचते हैं, सेफ्टी के बारे में सोचते हैं और सबसे आखिर में गाड़ी के एवरेज के बारे में सोचते हैं. And that's one of the main reasons why right now pollution levels are at a record-breaking height. Ice in the north is melting. Polar bears are running out of ice. We are basically chasing them out of their homes. इसलिए हम इंडिया में अब ग्रेजुअली स्विच कर रहे हैं रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेज ऑफ एनर्जी के तरफ एंड इम्पोर्टेंस टूवर्ड्स इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन इंडिया टूवर्ड्स ई वी इज इंक्रीजिंग बट इवन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ई वीज एंड परचेज ऑफ ई वी व्हीकल्स आर वी इन इंडिया रेडी फॉर द होल ई वी रेवल्यूशन Do we have the infrastructure in India to support the huge amount of vehicle need that Indians have? Let's start by addressing that is because I personally don't want India to be left out from the overall EV infrastructure evolution that the whole world is now gunning for. In case if you're thinking we are lacking with respect to infrastructure around EVs right now, we are not. We currently have 1028 fast chargers placed across India and that number is only going to go up significantly in the phase 2 of Fame India scheme. In case you didn't know what Fame India scheme is, it stands for faster adaptation and manufacturing of hybrid electric vehicles. In the ongoing phase 2 plan, we have 2877 fast chargers which have been sanctioned across 68 cities and 25 states additionally we'll have 1577 fast chargers which will be strategically placed across nine expressways and 16 major highways but there is one issue which will still haunt all the ev users and that's charging time the charging time that a ev car takes to charge from a 0 to 100 is the biggest disadvantage in the portfolio of ev cars because if you're planning a road trip of a long distance it's not going to be convenient to stop take an one hour of a charging break even if it's a fast charger and then move on to a trip it significantly increases your travel time even in case of commercial vehicles that one hour of a time that is lost while charging this car is a significant disadvantage in this year's budget the finance minister has made it a point to address that currently the manufacturers in india do not have a standardization in place when it comes to ev infrastructure or even charging of these vehicles but had there been a standardized rule for charging ports for all of these ev cars my access to ev chargers or fast chargers would be exponentially high as compared to the few charging ports that audi would strategically place around their dealerships to solve this problem around battery charging the budget has come up with the battery swapping policy with this policy coming into play it will overall the whole infrastructure around evs and also reduce the burden that the current infrastructure with the charging of these vehicles this will also be a significant advantage when it comes to commercial vehicles is because now they can also benefit out of this not all manufacturers are really pro on this but most of the manufacturers have applauded this decision because they feel that with the battery swapping policy most of the people who were reluctant of going ev will go ev and also they will see a steep rise in the purchase of commercial vehicles as well now these are some of the main things that we can take away from this conversation the first is swappable batteries with swappable batteries will be significantly reducing our charging times for instance right now even on a fast charger this car here or any of these ev cars can take about an hour to charge from a 0 to 100 and if you're charging it at home it's going to be around 8 to 10 hours but with swappable batteries that time will be significantly reduced to maybe 5 or 10 minutes and no amount of money can buy back that time the second is commercial vehicles now most of the commercial vehicles run on diesel engines because of which there are huge amount of emissions that are released by these vehicles but these vehicles once switch to evs there will be no emissions and will have much more green environment for us the next is eco zones With eco zones coming into play, only EV powered vehicles will be allowed into these zones. Even the budget is being planned around it, and in the phase two of the Fame India scheme, we will see this implemented. The fourth is going to be startups and newer jobs. With the swappable battery scheme, a lot of startups can take advantage of this and provide door-to-door -door services where they can swap out your batteries. The fifth point is going to be budget trips. 
with a lot of infrastructure being put into place around swappable batteries and fast chargers being placed around major routes and highways, your trips with friends and family are going to be cheaper and eco-friendly. Yaar, aise dekha jaye to mera last Mumbai to Goa trip to fuel ka kharcha abhi tak EMI pe chal raha hai. To sum it all up, India is on point when it comes to implementation of infrastructure around EVs. Even manufacturers are really happy with the battery swapping policy is because a lot more many people are going to invest into EV cars as their daily drivers. Even commercial aspects of EV cars is now going to grow since the charging time on these cars will reduce. But this has all been around infrastructure of EV cars. How do EV cars really work? It's not just a battery and a motor put together. There's a lot more going on when an EV car is concerned. And that's the reason why in the next episode, we're going to talk about EV cars, compare it to an internal combustion engine car and talk about the differences. This is Aurelius signing off from Mashable India. Do like and subscribe if you have liked this video and do stay tuned for the next episode where we're going to talk about EVs.